hello and welcome everyone in this video we are going to learn about the fed now general payment flow the happy path in the fed now payment service when a payment is initiated from an end user interface that can be a user or any other customer which can be a corporate customer or a retail customer who is initiating transaction from mobile banking or any other form of the systems made available to that customers so in this particular pictorial representation which I have shown it to you, it shows a sender is trying to make a fund transfer to his friend who in this case is a receiver, the one who is initiating transaction is a sender. Now first step is that customer initiates a transaction by populating the detail of the beneficiary customer. Now there are various way of initiating the transaction in terms of this real time payment especially in the Fed now. You can initiate by providing the proxy ID. You can initiate to make a fund transfer by providing the mobile number. You can make a transfer by providing or just scanning the QR codes and many other options. Imagining in this condition that the customer has just populated the account number or just mobile number and just initiated a transaction. Then what it does is that a request is received at the center financial institution and the center financial institution then does a series of validation related to this particular payment and once those internal bank related validation is done then the necessary message is created which is understandable at a FedNow service and is being sent out to the FedNow service. Now by this time the center financial institution has done the necessary accounting entries necessary payment related validations as well. At step number two, when it has been sent out to the FedNow service, it ensures that the necessary message enrichment is done and the respective packages rate message is sent out to the FedNow service. The FedNow service now does the necessary validation on this particular message. It checks out messages matching to that criteria or not and then checks necessary validation in terms of the count, whether it has sufficient fund available into it or not. Now next thing is the, it does the posting that a David is happened uh, from the master account of the center of France institution and then <coughs> the same message is been forwarded to the receiver finance institution. Now so receiver finance institution on receiving this particular message it checks on the beneficiary customer details as in whether this has this account is available in their account or not their account is valid or not all this all those validation is done and then they have to respond back immediately it's it's less than 20 second payment so within the, that period of time they have to revert back with that status whether they're going to accept it or not step number five says the same thing the respective packages or two messages will be released from the receiver finance institution then fair no service will receive this packages or two and then what it does is it does credit the receiver finance institution master account with the respective fund which is supposed to be created by the central bank which is indeed integrated with the FEDNA service and then the step number six is what it is mentioned the master account settlement happening of the receiver finance institution and then step number seven both the bank they receive the respective advices the respective cash management set of five four messages all right and then step number seven also the central finance institution would receive that uh, packages or two the respective uh, status of this particular message which so receiver finance institution has sent it mostly a triple c is the one which means account credit has completed successfully and then <coughs> the final message step number five which can be sent out if if only that step number five is sent out with ACTC or ACWP with the status code in your package or two then step nine can finally be sent out with the respective final status code as it that that should be either AC, ACCC or RGCT and then finally the customer will get to know that the beneficiary customer has been created step number 10 is what it been shown to you 
this is how your typical flow of your single customer credit transfer payment message that is a customer to customer payment transfer over the Fedna service happens now there are various business use cases which you need to understand as part of the Fedna payment service there are so many messages available over the Fedna services as well which includes your system messages which includes your customer credit transfer related messages which includes your payment related return related messages it contains cash management related messages which is related to your reporting out the statements it contains returns related messages it contains uh, request for payment initiation and many more so there are almost 25 hours of the course syllabus duration which will be taught over the period of one month if you are interested do join us or do drop us an email at swiftpaymentguru at gmail.com and we would get back to you with necessary information from the batch perspective we also have a self-paced program wherein you will get the entire course content in terms of the videos you just have to drop us an email at swiftpaymentguru at gmail.com stay tuned to get a lot of information related to FedNow services as well and if you want to learn in depth the course is where you'll get the entire content over the YouTube it's just a generic information which is done for the advertisement purpose as well thank you everyone and I'll see you next time Fuck man. It's another